Welcome back, Bobcat Nation. SKS here with another episode of the Texas State Bobcats Dynasty. We are 6-2. and two. We are going. It is hashtag hate Troy week. We are going to Troy, Alabama to take on the Trojans. And it says down there, we talked about last episode, we are going to war. It is always, always a big deal when we take on Troy. If you take a look there, we are pretty even, even though it's giving us the nod. Even though Kirk is going for us. How about that? But look at their rush offense they're the 11th best rushing team in the nation we are the number one rush defense but we do struggle sometimes so especially against the quarterback run so we'll have to get ready for that um, because they're they're overall a decent team and we're pretty equal so we'll have to be ready for that i didn't want to come into recruiting because something shocked me i was looking at how many players we needed and we got eight scholarships you know i've really offered a lot this year we got a lot of players coming in but I went over here to the top classes just to see how well we ranked, and we're number one right now. Texas State has the number one recruiting class in the country. We have seven four stars and nine three stars. Now, I'm sure this will change. You see schools like South Carolina have two five stars. You'll have a lot more five stars starting to come down the pipe here soon. Um, we don't have any of them, but you have some of the bigger name universities. Oh, that's MU. Hmm, look at that. A three and six getting a five star. We don't get five stars, but who knows? Anyway, we are number one. Oh my God. What happened to Louisville? 118th. They've got two players. Wow. Anyway, I just wanted to share that with you all that we are number one in something. All right. So here we see our Sunbelt rival. Uh, we're pretty close in everything, even though they got a pretty bad. Uh, record they are a decent team here's a little look at the injury report before we get into the game they're outside linebacker left in and wide receiver out and we still have roberson out with broken ribs which that one we could extend you just never know on this game with broken ribs looks like a bright sunshiny day here in troy alabama the bobcats and the trojans get ready to go at each other there's horn their coach getting a lot of screen time before this game why why does he get that that's not fair we are number one in the conference right now, but BYU is right there two games behind us. So a loss here could hurt us. Troy looks like they're in fifth. They could jump up to third in the Sun Belt standings. We're here at Veterans Memorial Stadium in Troy, Alabama. Texas State takes the big road trip over here, a long drive, and they get ready to take on the Trojans. Let's go down to the field. All right, so we lost. The coin toss, but they elected to receive, so Troy wants to come at us. So this is interesting. Cortez Wilson will kick that off. Oh, and a big run back here. And look like Kennery made the tackle. Kennery's not, you're not getting a long run on me. Now they come out with two wide receivers, two tight end package. McIntosh goes in motion. And like I said, we know they're going to run. Oh my god. Oh no! Not the first play of the game. JD Carter will trip him up. 45 yards from Lee Dixon. <sighs> Call a prevent. A run prevention defense, and our guys just all get held up on blockers and a missed tackle there. Wow. JD Carter, a touchdown saving tackle. They go with three wide receivers, two to the left, one to the right, one running back in the backfield. Take the handoff. And he's going to run. Come on, guys. Just quit trying to strip and just take him down. That is 10 yards and a first down from Shaw. First to 10 here, Troy moving down the home field with ease. And it's another run and another first down. Dixon picks up 11. Their offense running is as advertised. Got to close up the middle here. And they'll go down the middle. Come on, Manning. Come on. Good tackle. They'll still get two yards on it, but much better. That makes it second and eight. We could hold him to a field goal here. That may be good for the Bobcats. And he's going to throw that one in the back of the, out there in the practice zone where the kids play. Third down. Third and eight here. This is an important down. And goes in motion. And it's going to be a screen pass, and Edwards will bring him down, and that is fourth down. And the Bobcat defense bends a lot, but it does hold eventually. 
He just, I think he held on to that ball too long. He could have got that off earlier. Nice tackle there by Ronnie Edwards, the senior. Chip shot field goal here. And he will make it. Troy takes the first three points of the game. With 520 left here in the first, Troy strikes first here at home. Kennery going to get this on about the three-yard line. Let's see what he can do here. Oh, he gets hit hard. 12 yards on the return. Good coverage there on the return team. First to 10 here. First play for scrimmage offensively. McCoy will push forward, and he'll get three yards moving the line. So McCoy back in that starting position still. Second and seven, Brown, Burnett, Lane Walker, McCoy all out there. And Horn, Horn, oh, it says he fumbled it, but then it says he was sat, what? I guess he fumbled it and got it. I don't know, I'm not sure what happened there. But he tried to go through the middle. He fumbled it and, how does he fumble it and get sacked? This doesn't make sense. Let's see if anybody can be the standout today. Third and 13. And that one's gonna be way down the sideline. Burnett makes the catch, 39 yards. Holy crap, what a catch there. It looked like he come down with one foot. That was amazing. We might have to look at the replay there. All right, so here comes the ball in. Burnett goes up. and somehow gets that one foot down. While getting hit from behind. That is a man catch right there. First to 10 here. And it looks like a run McCoy. He'll push through and get two more yards. Second and eight here. Brown will make the catch, and that is going to be a first down. They give him nine. They get a 10 here. Well, they got the defense to jump a little bit. That one is almost incomplete. They don't call the, the jump. Thought it was a free play. Third and 10 here. Little dump pass, Kennery will turn up field to Kennery. His speed will get him past the line, and that is a first down for the Bobcats. Burnett, Kennery, Denman, and Brown out there. Thomas in the backfield. It is. Oh, and Thomas will juke and drive, and he'll pick up seven yards on the draw play. Well designed to play for Thomas. Burnett and Brown out on the outskirts. Lane goes in motion, Thomas still in the backfield. And some good blocks there. Thomas, he'll get the first down five yards. McCoy must be getting a breather. Brown, Kennery, Burnett, McCoy in the backfield. And McCoy, did you see that move? Eight yards on the run there. Just a little hesitant juke. Second and two. Oh, he needs a block. He'll get it and he'll, oh, he rolls forward. John McCoy picks up six. First and goal, maybe on the one-and-a-half, two-yard line. Big Ugly's all up there on the line. You kind of know what's going to happen. And McCoy will barrel through, and they take a 6-3 lead, bearing the extra point. John McCoy punches it in. Nice running on that drive. Texas State trying to show that they can run as well. Wilson's extra point is good. And McCoy getting congratulated by Conquest. Junior showing up. Wilson will launch this one straight down the middle. It's going to go deep in the end zone. And Thomas will kneel on that. Three receivers to the right, one to the left. And he's going to throw it. Oh, that was a good play. I, I went underneath. 13 yards on the pass. First down. Two receivers out to the left this time. Quarterback's going to keep it, and everybody's just going to run past him. And he's still going. Fritz will finally drag him down, my lord. <sighs> Danny Swan just racking up the yards today, already 33. 
They send three receivers out to the left, one to the right. It's a run up the middle, and he'll get four. And he's going to go, oh, and Manning meets him in the middle, and that is a yard loss. TJ Manning blew that play up. Third and seven here, another important third down. And he's gonna be wide open for the throw. 17 yard catch. I put coverage back there because I figured they would throw. Fritz just lets him go by. First and 10 here, they may get the playoff. They do. Oh, come on. Booth come up and laid a low hit on him, but Lee Dixon just keeps churning eight yards, and that will bring us to the end of the first. Texas State leading 7-3 to three over the hometown Trojans, but the Trojans are pushing down the field. Oh, come on, come on, bring him down. There we go. But he's got the first down. It's going to be first and goal now. We're getting very exposed right now. And of course, we jump. They get the flag. We jump, they get the flag. They jump, we don't get the flag. Half the distance to go, I'm sure. Ronnie Edwards, come on, Ronnie. That's gonna be some laps for the senior at practice. Oh, we hit him in the backfield and TJ Manning will finally get him. No gain on that. Good goal line stand there. And I make it second down. Second to go, they try to spin. Oh, we jumped again. What's going on? Oh, and that's going to be an easy touchdown cast. JD Carter, you know, you need to calm down, man. He already caught it. And Troy will go back on top with the touchdown pass there. Just, just our coverage couldn't stay with him. <laughs> he tackles him after the fact. What a jerk. Trojans lead by three here, six ten till half. Schneider gonna bring this one out. And he'll just go head on with them, 18 yards. Troy racking up the yards today, almost double what we have. 606. Horn, Horn gonna run. Oh, I wanted him to slide and he dives forward, 11 yards on the rush by Horn. Dustin Horn is definitely not a rusher. Oh, Brown! Brown, what a move! Brown going down the side of the field! This could be all the way! Touchdown, Bobcats! Daryl Brown, 72 yards! What a little stop move. He picked it up and just spun around and just left the defender there. Just Oh, he didn't even spin. He caught it and just turned. And that move was enough to just leave him. He left cement in his tracks. And Texas State goes right back up on top. Home crowd stunned on that one. But the bench very happy. So the freshman from Caribou, Maine, puts Texas State back up on top by four, and Wilson will launch this one deep. Maybe he'll bring it out. Nope. First and ten here. Quarterback's going to run. And he's still 16 yards. Oh, my God. Why well, put a quarterback spy on somebody when he gets knocked down? I mean, Carter eventually touches him, but... I think we just got to throw bodies at him now. Oh, man. Green left him wide open. Come on, Ryan Green. You're a senior. You can't do that. Second and five. It's a handoff. They got chasers, and they're going to knock him. Oh, good. I thought he was getting back up. The yard loss. That will force a third down and long. That'll bring up third and six. I thought he was getting back up the run again. Good Lord. Third and six here. 
Pressure coming, and oh, he just throws it away. Swan had the pressure coming, and that'll force a fourth down. Big boot there. Kennery back to get it. Henry looking for a block. He does not get it. Six yards only. Justin Horn only had to throw one pass so far. Let's see what happens now. First and ten. Oh, it's a screen. He's looking for some blocks. And he gets on McCoy's loose on the outside. McCoy pushed out of bounds at the 45-yard line. And that was a big time screen play. They hadn't ran that one for a number of weeks. And it was ran to perfection. And McCoy just jetted down the sideline. Big chunk of gain there. First and 10 here. Warren's going to throw that one deep. Brown, he went up for it, but it was well defended by Bernard. Second and 10. And as thrown, Thomas will get that one. Thomas will pick up eight. The freshman coming out of the backfield for the catch. Third and two. Oh, and that's going to be blown up, and that is going to be a fourth and six. No in conquest, though. He may opt to go for this one. He does have a great quarterback and receiver crew. On the road, fourth and six. Horn changes it up at the line. Oh, that's that's terrible. Oh, Thomas almost picked it up off the bounce. Oh. Knocked down by the defender, but Thomas comes up. Oh, he should have had that. The first to 10, Texas State still with the four point lead. Oh, and that, come on, bring him down. Wraps him up in the backfield and Dixon will still bring him along for four yards. Clock ticking, 250 till half. Fields trying to get back there. Manning will hit him in the backfield, and they all jump on him. A host of Bobcats. No gain there. Third and six. Third and six here. 214. They're going to run. Oh, and that is loss on the play. Fourth down. Conquest calls timeout. Conquest looking to maybe drive down the field, get some points here. That is a big punt. Kennery waits for it. And Kenner, oh, I thought he was going to circle back. He'll get 10 yards. Two-minute drill now in effect with 2.03 to go till half. First and 10. Horn will whip. Johnny Walker will make the... Oh, Johnny Walker. Johnny Walker still on his feet. Johnny Walker, 16 yards. The big man rumbling, bumbling, stumbling. He did not go down. That was just such a short little pass. Pressure was coming on Horn. And Walker, let's see, one, two. He took down McCoy <laughs> at three, finally. Oh, my God, he plowed McCoy. Johnny Walker taking out John McCoy there might be one of the funniest things I've ever witnessed. And Burnett, no, he had it, and the tackle brings it, pops it out. Second and ten here. Warren will deliver. Oh, Chuck Denman drops one. He had the out route perfect, and he just couldn't hold on. Third and ten here. And Burnett's going to make that catch down the sideline, and Burnett is finally going to be drug out of bounds. 34 yards. The big pass completion. He got just a little separation there from the corner, and Justin Horn put it right in the correct spot. And uh, smartly, he gets out of bounds. First to 10, 132 to go. And Burnett, it was the low ball, but Burnett had it, but then the hit knocked it loose. Big down here, Burnett, Kennery, Brown out there, Thomas McCoy in the backfield. 
And that's caught by Brown. Brown tries to stay on his feet. 18 yards, the first down, and it's going to be first to go. A minute 20 left, and Daryl Brown is on the cusp of 100 yards receiving on the day already in the first half. First and go here. The handoff, McCoy, he'll roll up three yards. Clock will tick under a minute. Horn changing some stuff up. It's a handoff, McCoy. He'll get a yard, third and goal now. Third and goal, clock ticking down, Burnett and Brown out there, Graves, Lee and Thomas in the backfield. Graves will go in motion. And they'll hit, and Burnett dropped another one. We're on the road, so we're gonna take the points. 17-10 should be the score going to halftime. Eight seconds, Wilson will squib this one down the field. Takes a bounce. Big hit there. Put some near midfield though. They got a chance to strike. We'll see what they do. Looks like they're gonna go for it. Oh, and that's gonna be a sack, and that should do it right there. That will run the clock out. Halftime score: Texas State Bobcats 17, the hometown Trojans of Troy 10. Texas State will get the ball after the half. So we have a good game going on here in Troy, Alabama. Big kick, Schneider gonna get this one. Schneider the freshman, looking for a couple blocks. He'll go, oh, horse collar tackle, legal back then. 21 yards. Come out three to the right, Walker, Kennery, Burnett, Brown, McCoy, the Dallas, Texas junior halfback in the backfield. He'll, oh, McCoy's gonna shoot through. McCoy will cross over. McCoy still on his feet, almost to midfield. And that is a 25 yard rush from John McCoy. What a run coming out of the halftime gate. Almost kept his footing. I love that they shake their hands after stuff like that. First and 10 here. And Horn is going to be sacked. There was absolutely nothing over, so he'll lose 10 of those yards that they just picked up on the rush. Not even a chance to throw it away. He was still in the pocket. Second and 20 now. Horn will hit Burnett. Burnett will hold on to that one and get 12 yards. So it makes it a third and nine, much more manageable. Third and nine. Horn will deliver. Burnett catches it, and they'll hit him past the first down marker, and he'll get that. Thotties on patrol. 528 remaining here in the third quarter. It's a handoff. <laughs> oh, my God, what was that? Five yards, but I was kind of freaked out by the defender just teleporting. Changes some things up there. Second and five. Warren will deliver Johnny Walker. He does not hold on to it. So many drops this game. Third and five. Play action. He's wide open. Walker will make the catch that time, and that will be good for the first down, and he is hyped. You love seeing this first and ten, and look at Horn. He's, he's pumped up and ready to go. Oh, hand it off here. He needs a block on the outside. McCoy's got the edge. McCoy, he, oh, he busted through one guy, and he's going to be brought down on, like, the three. That's a 16-yard rush. He's up to 68 yards on the day. McCoy, tough running there. Look at that little juke. Good block there by Ricky Jacobs, the junior out of McAllister, Oklahoma. First and goal. And Thomas is going to take another touchdown away from McCoy and put it in, but that's okay. Texas State increases their lead to 13, maybe 14, over their rival, Troy. Ohio State currently being upset by Penn State. Let's see if they can hold on. So Texas State up by two scores now. A deep kick. He will not run it out.
First to ten here. And they bring the house and we'll get nine yards through the blitz. And he's gonna go through the middle again. Oh, did he fumble it? What? I guess there was a fumble because Listen. Oh, bring it back. Yes. Still first down. Put three right receivers out to the right. And he's going to be brought down in the back. Troy Cameron all over that. Danny Swan loses a yard. Second and 11. That'll bring up second and 11. I swear it's more effective to just blitz one of the safeties than to have a quarterback spy. There's a pass out there, and he'll run out of bounds. He'll get three yards, but third and long now is the situation for the Trojans. Oh, get to him, get to him, get to him. Oh, he dropped the ball. Danny Swan was sacked. I, I couldn't tell who hit him. Who come around the outside? Was that Taylor? Oh, he hurdled a guy, and Taylor, Casey Taylor, the freshman corner out of Downey, California, gets in there and makes a play on third down. And that is going to force a punt. So maybe we should think positive that some of these young corners who are going to be the next generation of Fritzes and stuff are coming in there and making plays. Kennery is going to get this one. Kennery ran right into him. Here's the offense. 361 yards to 161. That has been the difference today. Let's see what Texas State can do here. First and 10. McCoy goes in motion. They hand it to Thomas. Thomas is hit. He'll get three yards. Second and seven, 215 to go. Horn will deliver. Denman, Chuck Denman. Oh, he'll take a big hit, but he held on to it 11 yards. First and 10. Horn goes deep. He gets hit. Brown out there. Knocked down. Looked like he just had to get rid of the ball. The pressure, the blitz was coming from the blind side. Second and 10 here. And that is a pass. Kennery will make the catch. Kennery gets 22 yards on the play, and that will put Justin Horn over 300 yards today. Nice little toss. Good play. Crossed up the defenders. 127 left in the third. And McCoy, McCoy is going to go right through somebody. Nine yards on the play. Brings him up to 77 yards. 6.4 average today. Not bad. Second and one. McCoy, McCoy will push through, and he'll get the first down. Like man coverage here. Warren will deliver, and that's Mc Willie McTaggart out there, and he'll pick up seven yards, and that should bring us to the end of the third quarter. End of the fourth, or excuse me, end of the third quarter, 24-10, Texas State leading here on the road. They are in control of the game clock right now as they're pushing the score, and they could solidify the win. Taking in three. McCoy goes in motion. Almost picked off. Horn trying to hit the corner up there. Snap here. Horn, McCoy. McCoy trying to get up there. Fourth and in inches. What are they going to do? Like Coach Conquest getting a little conservative. Brings out Cortez Wilson, who will put that right down the middle and make it a 17-point game. Ooh, Ohio State has come back and they've tied up the Nittany Lions. Big boot by Cortez Wilson there. Probably going to be downed. Troy has seven pass breakups. My lord. So for most of this, the third quarter, we ran the dime defense. Now that I've said that, they uh, they score 13 quick yards there on us. 
Oh, quarterback trying to swerve, and he gets brought down, and that is a sack for two yards. The Jermaine Hughes, it was Jermaine Hughes with the sack. Quick snap there. They're trying to get to him. He's wide open. Fritz. Fritz gets just thrown down like he's nothing. Oh, man. Brandon Fritz. The sophomore out of Channel View just got owned. Oh, that was dirty. So dirty. Casey Taylor, though, comes over, makes the tackle. They had some pressure on him. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, this is dangerous. And finally, Booth will come up and make the tackle. 24 yards. So Troy moving the ball here. They're not laying down yet. Announcer trying to get the crowd into this. Bring them back to their feet. Oh, oh good lord, what a hit. Jermaine Hughes laid down the smack on the quarterback there. Looked like somebody grabbed him to keep him from running. Oh, it was Hughes that kept him, and then who was it? Who made the big hit there? Hughes holds him, and I, I couldn't tell who uh, hit him. Oh, he's gonna, he's gotta, oh no, they're gonna not get in there. It's first and goal though. I don't think the dime defense worked on that run. Oh, come on. Oh, we'll hold him down. Looked like Manning was going for the strip there, but he still prevented him from getting in the end zone. I feel like they're going to go run to the left here. Yep. Oh, get him. Oh. And Troy will close the gap somewhat. Oh, just a little shove there. Manning was coming through to fill the hole and he couldn't get there. Ohio State has pulled back and won the game. The 4-10 left in the game. Texas State holds a 10-point lead. They kick this one off to Kennery. He's going to definitely bring this out on the line. Kennery, Kennery looking for space. Kennery, Kennery cut back. Kennery. Oh, he had a little gap there, but he'll get almost 40 yards. So can Texas State hold the line for four minutes, waste some clock, get a couple first downs? Like Coach Conquest has got the boys fired up on the sideline. Here comes Horn. Not done a lot of mistakes today, just been a lot of drop passes. Run play to start this off. McCoy, McCoy turns through. McCoy drops his head and he'll get nine yards. Second and one here. And Horn will keep that one and Horn will dive past and get the first down. They were beelining toward McCoy there, and Horn just kept it. Wade Lane goes in motion. The handoff to McCoy. McCoy may have got a yard, half a yard on that play, but the clock is still running. Big gap there. McCoy's through it. McCoy! McCoy breaks out to the middle of the field. He'll go down 24 yards. That puts him over 100. Coach Conquest is just confused at why they would call a touch or a timeout. But McCoy quiets the crowd down. Tough running there. Cuts through the middle. Big hole. And that might seal the deal as Troy calls a timeout. Thomas comes into the game. Probably to give McCoy a rest after that big run there. Hand off to Thomas. Thomas. He'll push through six yards. Another timeout by Troy. Throw across the middle. Brown. Oh, Brown almost stayed up. Daryl Brown, 15 yards. Last timeout. Justin Horn over 330 yards now. And may have put Brown over 100 reception yards for the day. First and goal. And a little toss-up. Burnett will dive to make the catch. 
and Justin Warren, two passes that drive, one of them's a touchdown, and that's gonna be your game pretty much. Wilson will come in and make it a 34-17 game as Texas State doubles up on Troy. So a minute 51 left in the game. Big pass there. Looks like a waffle in the air though. 13 yards. No timeouts for Troy. Oh, and that's good. Oh, what in the world, Fritz? Fritz, come on, Fritz. You should have had that one. Yeah, nobody's going to fist bump you because you didn't catch it. That was really mean of me to say to Fritz, wasn't it? No, once again, let them get another first down. They keep them in bounds, though. Clock's going to run. Oh, my God. He throws that. Fritz! Fritz! Come on, my buddy! Yeah, look at your hands. That's why you play defense. Oh. If Troy scores on the scrambling drive, I'm going to blame it all on Fritz. And they'll catch that one and get out of bounds. First and 10 with a minute 20 left in the game. Oh, I can't believe that. Good play call there, though. Drumline's still going crazy. They always do here at Troy. They break the rules. Uh-oh. Booth! Okay. Oh, I was getting so mad. He throws it out of bounds, but I thought Booth got Booth just kept running. I love the fact that I yell at the players like they can hear me. Fritz, that is he's got three deflections. He's going bonkers about it, but he should have an interception. He should have an interception by now. Oh, and they're going to score on that one. Casey Taylor was out there. And Troy will make the score look a little bit more respectable. He knew not to go Fritz's way again. It would be another deflection. So I figured they go for the onside here. We put the hands team out. If we get this, it should seal the deal. Chuck Denman looks like he's going to grab that. And Chuck Denman's going to take on the outside. Chuck Denman. Oh, he spun out of bounds. Zero. What? All of that for zero yards? Balderdash. So another hard fought game here between the Bobcats of Texas State and the Trojans of Troy. Justin Horn is your player of the game. A very quiet 341, two touchdowns, no interceptions. And that will help out the Bobcats trying to win the conference again. Final score here at Troy, Alabama. Texas State 34, Troy 24. That late touchdown made it a little bit closer than it was, but Texas State will leave with a great conference victory. All right, let's take a look at the player stats. Justin Horn, 180.1 rating. Only 58% completions this game. We'll get to why that was here in a minute. 17 for 29. That number could have been a lot higher. But uh, again, we'll get to that here in a minute. 341 yards, two touchdowns, no interceptions. And he had two sacks on the day. When it comes to rushing, look at John McCoy, the junior, powering it through 116 yards on 17 attempts. He's averaging almost seven yards a carry. One touchdown, his longest was 25. Yeah, I'm just going to highlight this first. We'll go over to drops. Um, three drops for Sean Burnett, one for Denman, and one for Walker. Uh, a lot of that happened. Daryl Brown led all receivers today with 114 yards on four receptions. He had a touchdown. Sean Burnett did make up with that amazing diving catch, two yards short of 100 yards. One touchdown. John McCoy, Johnny Walker, and Kennery all making 30-yard-plus contributions. Uh, Denman, Thomas, and Willie McTaggart. I think that's his second catch of the year. TJ Manning leading tackles with seven solo and three for loss. He also had a sack on the day. 
Green, Booth, and Cameron. Four solo tackles apiece. Two of them, Booth and Cameron, with tackles for loss. Fritz with three tackles. We also know that Fritz had three deflections. I wonder why. Lots of tackles for loss today. TJ Manning had three. Hughes, two. Cameron, Taylor, Edwards, Fields, Carter, Booth, all with that. Cortez Wilson, two for two on field goals. His longest was 28 yards. He also had four extra points. No punting today for us. Aaron Jones took the day off. The big momentum. Texas State moves their winning streak to six games as they take down Troy. Good work in finding a way to beat Troy, coach. Yeah, that's usually what coaches do. All right, let's go ahead and advance the week and see what pops up. Well, with the five recruits left that we have that we're going after, we got James Turner, the right end commitment. Uh, he'll probably be a backup. We've also got two 70 level players that will want to visit us. I hope we got, I think we got one more game we can get them to visit. And we're still in a recruiting battle for a right guard and a corner. I really want these corners because they would really help us out. As you've seen, we need people who can play coverage and catch the ball. Looks like right now we are leading the Sun Belt Conference by, I want to say, three games over BYU. Um, Troy fell down a spot. Looks like Army slipped. I felt like somebody else was up here besides BYU. Maybe Arkansas State. We're playing the Louisiana Lafayette this next week, the Raging Cajuns. Uh, so that will be interesting to see how this shakes it up. But right now we control our destiny. We have not cracked the top 25. There's not much changed up there. Though we are receiving votes. We're getting 64 votes to be in the top 25. So maybe in the next coming weeks, we can crack that. The award finalists come out this week. TJ Manning is up there for the Bednarik Award. TJ Manning is also in the top 12 for the best linebacker. Brad Kennery is first place currently on the best returner, which we thought he would probably be there. So it's good to see that he is the top of the list. That bodes well for the young man. The only other thing I wanted to check on before we end the episode is our bowl predictions. Right now they have us against a 6-4 and four UTEP in the New Orleans Bowl, which we've played in before. So, again, we may have to do some thoughts of moving to a different conference if we win this year again uh, so that we get a chance at some better bowl games. But uh, right now, that's where we stand. All right, Bobcat Nation, I'm going to end the episode there. I hope you all enjoyed yet another week, another win. There's some bold statements down there in the bottom right. I'm not even going to read those because I don't want to bring any bad juju on us. But as always, thanks for watching. I hope you all are staying safe during the quarantine. I will see you all next time. God bless. Have a good one.